What's going on, y'all? So today we are going to be returning back to our, you know, rental teams that we have available for this month because can't forget that there, there's rental teams. And, you know, I know I, a lot of the times I feel like I start like theory crafting new stuff and then I'm like, well, I got to try this. Like, and then it's like, well, what about the rental teams you built to show people? Like, uh, so we'll, we'll go back and we'll keep using the rental teams. They, they are pretty fun for this month. I wasn't seeing very good success when we were in low ladder, but, um, you know, it doesn't mean I'm going to see perfect success either way, but we are going to try. And, uh, you know, I do think that the teams have a lot of fun things they can do. So we do have this speed swap bulldoze Calyrex to complement Solgaleo as well as being able to do annoying things like make Amoongus really fast. So, you know, you've got fun things like that. We have Charizard just because it does Charizard things, you know, it gets up that extra tick damage and uh, it's always fun. It does a lot of damage. Uh, I think Charizard is relatively easy to prepare for, so I don't always go for it with this team unless I'm like either late gaming or like leading Amoongus Charizard. Uh, or like Calyrex speed swap or something like I don't know just saying uh, <clears throat> You do have Gastrodon to switch in for lightning moves, which is good electric moves uh, Gastrodon is a mean Pokemon in general just generally a good asset for a, for a team Then we have thunderous which I think is really good. It wards away like the most common protect uh, fake out in the game but well, I mean Rillaboom but Incineroar right uh, so it wards away Incineroar, kind of wards away Landorus, uh, which is good for Solgaleo. But besides that, you don't really need it to like stop them from intimidating the team because it's not like Solgaleo cares and then the rest of the team is physical, or I mean special. So uh, you, you've got that going for you either way. So it's a fun team. You know, we'll see what we can do. Uh, the wide guard, definitely important for me to remember having. And I am going to have to, I am going to have to, what's it called? <clears throat> I'm going to have to do a lot of content back to back to save up for you guys. Because I'm going to be at regionals this weekend at the Milwaukee regionals. So, you know, I hope you're excited for that. Um, you probably won't see me on stream unless I'm lucky, but, you know, things happen. I'm not gonna say they don't. It's a team. Jerry! That doesn't look like a, a Jerry team. Gerald. <clears throat> well, let's definitely just lead Solgaleo, Calyrex. Um, with Gerald. <laughs> um... So Galio Calyrex. I guess the problem is if we do that, we can't actually hit Shedinja, can we? Well, I mean we can with Calyrex, right? Um, so there's that. We need to bring things in the back though that can actually hit Shedinja. So I'm actually leaning towards bringing like Thunderous and Charizard in the back, which could be a really bad idea if we don't get rid of the right things. But Yeah, yeah. I mean, technically, if I Dynamaxed Charizard, then they wouldn't get to do anything with Shedinja, which would be nice. They lead Thunderous and Sasian. So... <clears throat> We could expect Thunderous to maybe like max airstream to try to like counteract me, right? 
But what I want to do is I want to bulldoze. And I want to... I mean, it sucks because, like, Max Steel Spike's not going to KO Thunderous. Max Lightning, honestly, might not KO Thunderous. Uh, Max Quake... I mean, is like a good move, but it's like, how good is it right now? Um, I'm expecting them to maybe even switch out Zacian for Shedinja. Um, it looks like they're not Dynamaxing either. Is that what I just saw? Because, like, you gotta have a pretty slow Thunderous <coughs> to be... Unless it's a support Thunderous, which could be annoying, obviously. Okay. Well, this is certainly not going how I've been expecting it to. out the shed very annoying I mean I'm obviously gonna astral barrage and just max quake like if they ally switch and they have sash that's one thing but Bring out Charizard. <laughs> we heat wave, and I kind of feel like I should um, quake again because they should have, you know, what's his name in the back. This is going to be interesting. Let's see if they ally switch. Yep. That's literally like as bad as possible. They really just did that to me, Mike. Do you think I showed Ancient Power and Earthquake, my guy?
Strunk. Okay, they probably will live this. We live. We know they have Shadow Sneak, which sucks. Um, but I'm also believing that Ancient Power can do this much. Classic. Oh my god, if I lose this, I'm gonna be upset. Let's go. <laughs> oh god. Scary stuff. Okay, okay. So... They definitely had mean things to do, but they chose not to, um, because they wanted to break my sash, so they were just, they just were like, hey, I'm just gonna Thunderbolt and, uh, Behemoth Blade the, the Calyrex, and in doing so, you know, stop you from Astral Barraging, right? But, they could've probably just recognized that they had the Shadow Sneak in the back, and, like, Thunder Waved my, my guy, so, yeah. Um, I think that really made the difference. You can't let me lose a game like that. Like, you know what I mean? Like, they had to let me win that at some, at some level. Like, I think I've faced this guy in best of three. This might be like a... Harky or something, I don't know. Or maybe they're in the Corviknights, but, you know, GG's to them. <laughs> so what can I really do? Because I don't have Lumberry on anything. Um, if I had Lumberry Thunderous, that'd be great. If I had Protect on Solgaleo, I could Bulldoze turn 1. That would actually be my best play. 
Um, I could bulldoze protect, bulldoze max lightning. I don't think there's a there's an easy way to win this. I want to start Charizard and like Gastrodon or something, and then switch in Thunderous with Calyrex in the back. This could be a real problem. I almost want to protect Charizard for a turn and see what they're gonna do. But I kind of feel like I have to just Dynamax, get the like tick damage going, and then switch out into Thunders. They should just Dynamax Groudon, though. And Max Rockfall. I can't help but find games like this just amazingly boring, um, but, you know, like, I'm the one on the worst side of it, so why would I not find it boring? Charizard wakes up here, I swear to god. Okay, well, I tried, you know, I tried. We'll set up the rock fall. Hopefully what I have in the back is comfortable with double targeting. I mean, it's just Gastron's the problem, it's too slow. If I didn't have Gastron in the back, this would be winnable. Because I just don't believe we can do that much.
That's what I have to do. I have to protect. I probably should have just astral barraged, honestly, like... I mean, it was, it was never really going to go much better than that, unfortunately. Like, I definitely could have astral barraged and, and hoped that they, I mean, they do have protect, so, yeah. Maybe I should have astral barraged. Maybe it was a bad play. But, like, realistically speaking... There you go. Now you wait just a darn minute. dry skin right which I don't really care that much about thunderous Please lead a Veltal. It's your destiny. 
as is mine to Spore set of Alto. No, they need freaking P2. My guy, like. This is not what you came for. He's gonna regenerate. Probably should have waited a turn, but you know. Man, do it again, I think. I mean, round is a move. not going to be easy. Maybe I should have max knuckled. Yeah, yeah, Max Knuckle would have dealt with that. You gotta remember that Max Knuckle actually does... Well, I don't think it would have done that much more. Let's see who they send out. Do they send out Heliolisk? No, that's...
might be able to win this end game on its own, so I need to be careful. I could have just spored the Aveltal. I could have just spored the Aveltal. I didn't even think about it. This is going to be really close. If they have Aqua Jet, I think they can win. Um, also, based on my Brick Break, I think I should double up the Gastrodon. Or, I mean... Crazy stuff. Crazy stuff, my guy. Well, there's a video for you. We had fast options, we had slow options. Yeah, that last one was going to be pretty bad, just because Incineroar made it really hard for me to do anything, now that I had only those two left. And my best play would have had to be to Astral Barrage and Earth Power the Lunala slots, so we got two wins. I mean, they were solid wins, they were fun. Uh, we didn't spore the Avelt Hall, but you know, I think what we did ultimately um, was important because that wild charge did enough to make the ice beam do enough, you know, so um, Round made no sense if you had foul play there my guy like you would have done a lot better 
and it would have gotten pretty difficult for me at that point. So, yeah, good matches. GG's to those people, and we'll see what happens in the in the next one. But yeah, um, thank you for tuning in. Uh, thank you to those of you who have been supporting me. I know we, I feel like we've been growing, you know, and I appreciate it. So uh, we'll hit 250 soon enough, I'm sure. So all right, yeah, peace out, y'all. Thank you.